Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to create a color range between two colors in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and in this example I'm going to create a color range between this color code and the color red. And if we want to create a color range between these two colors, then we can apply the color ramp palette function that you can see in line three of the code. And within this function, we simply need to specify a vector, which is showing the starting column and the column at the end of the color range. So if we want to create a color range between these two colors, then we need to store the output of the color ramp palette function in a new data object. So if you run line three of the code, you will see that a new data object appears at the top right. And you can also see that this data object is actually a function. So in the next step, we can apply this function that we have just created to any number we want. So in this case, we are applying the function that we have created to the number 100 and we store the output of this function in the data object my colors. So if you run line five of the code, you will see that a new data object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can also have a look at this data object. And uh, you can see that the data object now contains 100 color codes. And if you run lines seven to nine of the R programming code that is shown here, then you will see that the color codes that are stored in the data object my colors are actually ranging from blue to red. So the starting point is this color code that we have specified here. And red is the last color that we have specified here. So as you have seen, it is very simple to create a color range in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. I will also put the R programming code that I have shown in this video into the description of the video so you could copy it from there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be happy if you leave me a comment or if you give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.